After Shavua, Dafches and Abbeis, we're up to the Mishnah. Zok the Mishnah in Chayfrin Kuche Nukvarais. You can't dig out on Cholamoy Kuche Nukvarais for the people that were Nifter. They used to dig out like in the instead in the wall like cavities of a place to put the mace in. So they used to have in one area like a couple of cavities around so that in you would have one, one you would have almost like a ches of cavities where you put in mason uh, into the ground so you can't dig that in on chal hamoyed ukfarais and you can't make kfarais which the Gemara is going to explain the difference um, between them, the Kfaris of the Gemara is going to say is a binion, it's something that you make above the ground. But you could uh, size the Kuchen Bemayid. The Gemara is going to explain how you size it. You're allowed to make a pool on Mayid. Taisus does speak out that it's the, the pool was to, for the Pashtas, it's Machlik is what it is for, but Pashtas is for the clothing, to wash the clothing. So Taisa says, why are you going to need to watch the, wash the clothing? You're not allowed to wash clothing on Chol And Taisa says, there are times where you are, and it's talking about um, for those times, or it's for washing the mace himself, and for his the, the, the Tachrichen that you put, the shrouds that you're going to put on the mace. You're allowed to make an arin, the casket, only when the mace is there in the chatzar, so that people will know that you're doing it for that reason. Rabbi Yuda, sir, Rabbi Yuda says, even in such a case, it's also in Kenyashi Mainasarm, unless you have boards beforehand ready. You can't, like, chop down the tree or whatever, get the stump, and then start making boards. You can't do that far, that's too much of a tircha. But if you have the nasarm, you have the boards before, and the uh, and the mace is there, then it's okay. Zakti Gemara, my kuchen, my kfaris. What's the difference between these cavities in between a kever? I'm Rav Yehuda, kuchen mechavira. Kuchen is with digging, kfaris bevinyan, and a kever is with a binyan. Zakti Gemara, weiter. Tani and Amiyachi, we also learned in a brisa. I see I've written on the side that the, the Shaila, uh, that the Mishnah says, Ein chayfrin, kuchen It sounds like you're digging by Kfaris also. Tani and Amiyachi, Elein Kuchem, Elein Kfaris. What are Kuchen and what are Kfaris? Kuchen Mechavir, Vekvaris Bebinyan. Kuchen is Bechavira. Kfaris is Bebinyan. Kuchen is by digging. Kfaris is by building up. Baal Zakti Gemara Vaita, two dots. You could size the kuchen. How do you size it? If it's too long, you could be makatsari, you can make it short. It's not such a tircha because you just fill it up with rocks. In a brisa, we learned you could even do more. You can make it longer by digging it out more. And widen it, which is also it's even more than making it shorter because it's more of a tircha. The brisa says, you could even do that. Zakti mar vaiter vayis and rechus. You can make a pool of water. My nevrechus am rabidu zubekia. This is a pool of water. I frankly mar vatani. We learned on a brisa that it lists hanevrechus vehabekia. It lists two types of pools, and it says nevrechus and bekia. So you see, bekia is not nevrechus. Marabai vitem rav kahana geya ubar geya. It's talking about um, a pool, and then the overflow of a pool. So you'll have Nevrechus is the pool, the Bekiah is the overflow of a pool, but de, but Bekiah is also a pool. Okay. Zok the Mishnah Okay, Zok the Mishnah Vaita. 
it's just a little funny because it's still Rabbi Yehuda says, the Gemara says, my nevrachas. And Rabbi Yehuda says, Bekiya. So it's not, it's not really Bekiya because the Bryce says, nevrachas va Bekiya. So I guess it's Bekiya could be a Lushan of both. Bekiya means a pool. But when it says nevrachas va Bekiya means the big pool and then the overflow pool. When it, maybe when it's together, Bikia is called an overflow pool, but in the in the lingo, in the Vrechas, Bikia is called a pool. We learned in the Mishnah similar to the following Braisa. You're allowed to do all the needs of the mace. Now, that means, obviously, we said you can't dig the Kuchanuk Faris Bamayr, so that's not the actual uh, needs of the mace. This means the actual physical needs of the mace. Of the mace. Goiz is in Leisari, he could cut his hair, Mechabs and Lexus, he washes clothing. Oiz in Leisari, and you make for him an Arain. Menasrim, Amunusar, Mer, Minasarin, Amunusar, Mer, Vyamtif, from boards that were made from before Yantiv, which is only like Rabbi Huda. Rabbi Shimei Amalil, Rabbi Shimei Amalil is going to be more like the Tanakama. Af me vi and eitzim uminasrim. You could even bring wood and saw them up. But he adds uminasrim b'tzin of his base. You could only sew them up inside your house. You can't do it publicly. Not like the Tanakama. That seems in our Mishnah seems to say you could do it publicly. Zok the Mishnah vayiter. Einoisim nashim b'mawoyed. You can't marry women. I'm like a not a besula, below a manis, and not a widow, below me yavmin, and no, you can't do yibam and aisha simchli loy. It's a simcha for him. Have a masra so you could uh, take back uh, your wife that you had previously divorced. You're allowed to be masra gushasi. Taisus mentions that the Yushalmi says that that's only from the suin. If you if you married her in full and you divorced her, but if you married her from Arison and you never were with her, then you can't be master. And the Isha can make her her tachshitim amoyed, her different uh, things to beautify herself. Um, and she could do it, um, the makeup and all that. And all her other uh, needs, beautif beautifying needs, um, cosmetics. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Leitasud, but you shouldn't put on pitch, lime. You shouldn't put on lime where it needs a nation near light. Because it's a tsar for her. It's disgusting when it's on, and therefore it's a tsar for, the, for her. They used, to, the, the, they used to put on, the Gemara is going to explain, they used to put on lime in order to take out off uh, uh, hair. And to make the skin shine, I had the toy for a non-professional guy, a layman, could stitch in the regular way because his stitching is not amazing. But uman machlev and a uman, a professional uh, person, someone who does it as a profession, has to change his way and do it not in a typical way. When we're sagging the samitas, you're allowed to weave. They had instead of like the springs under our bed where we put the matches on, they used to have like, uh, they used to weave like a crisscross uh, and put the matches on there. You're allowed to do that on Chalmai. Rabbi Yaisi, Oimer Rabbi Yaisi says, only mematchen, you're only allowed to tighten it. The Gemara is going to speak about this. Frakti Gemara Bisi, Pchisimchi Loi, my Havi. Well, it says you're not allowed to get married because it's a simcha. What's wrong with having a simcha? On Yontav, that's a good thing. I'm Rabbi Yudah, I'm Rishmo, Chena, I'm Rabbi Laza, I'm Rabbi Yishaya, I'm Rabbi Laza, I'm Rabbi Chanina, Fishayin, Ma'arvin, Simcha, B'Simcha. You can't mix a Simcha with another Simcha, which the Gemara is going to learn on Daf Tess. We're going to learn from Shleim Amel by the Beis Hamikdash that he pushed off the Simcha of the Beis, that he pushed off, he didn't push it off, but that he didn't make it together, the Simcha of the Beis Hamikdash, because uh, Yontif, uh, it was first Sukkis, I'm sorry, it was first the Simcha, they had the festivities for the finishing of the Beis Amigash and then Sukkot, and he didn't put them together. 
So here too, by Yom Tov, you shouldn't mix the Simcha of getting married with the Simcha of Yom Tov. It's not talking about every Simcha, it's specifically the Simcha of getting married because it's so intensely uh, happy, you're so intensely happy that you're going to push off the Simcha of Yom Tov and be Isaac and deal with the Simcha of, your, of getting married, of being with your wife. This halacha of Rabba Baravuna is the same as Rav. Daniel Bakatin Amar Rav. Rav Daniel Bakatin is said in the name of Rav. How do we know you can't marry a, a woman on Moyed? Like it says, You should be misameach in your chag. And he darshans only, it has to be your chag. And not your Isha. So you darshan specifically about Isha, you can't be, uh, with your Isha. I'm not 100% sure why Bechagecha Davka means be Isha, and it doesn't mean any Yamtiv, any other simple. But that's how the Gemara and that's how Rav learns over here. Ula Amar, Ula says, you shouldn't, a third reason why you shouldn't mar- get married on Cholomoy, because there's a lot of Tircha to get to, for the Suda. Um, uh, actually, Rashi doesn't say the Suda. He says, Litrach Litzayrach Nesuin. There's a lot of uh, Tircha for getting married. The Tircha Bamayid Asar. And he's not allowed to have Tircha. The Gemara, I think, is going to speak about that. It's more of the Suda. Rabbi Yitzch, Nafcha, Amrani, Bittu, Peri, Verivya. Because if you wait, if you, if you, um, if you wait for Mayid, you, that means, let's say, you'd be engaged four months before the Mayid. Or you have Aris in four months before the Mayid. You'll say, I'm going to save the meal. They used to have a big meal for Yantif, a big meal for the marriage. So I'll just push it off, and I'll have one big meal for the marriage and for Yantif. So therefore, um, that's going to hold back that you will have kids four months later. It's pushing it off. That's called bit of a peer of your view. The, for the first reason of Tercha also, I don't know if it has to do with the Suda. I mean, Rashi obviously says it's not only the Suda. The Gemara is going to speak out that, that um, let's see one more Kasha. May stay. We'll ask uh, Kasha on all the, on all these four different reasons why you can't get married in Yantif. The Bryce says, Kol Shamru, All these things that we said, Asur and Lisa b'Mayid, that it's also to get married on Mayid, Mutar and Lisa erev regal. But you're allowed to get married on erev Yantif. So Kasha Lukul, this will be a Kasha on all the previous people, because if you get married on erev Yantif, your 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 Shabbat Brachas is still going to be on Chol Mayid. So you're going to be Marv and Simcha b'Simcha. You're going to be dealing with the simcha of your wife. You're going to have tircha of, of, what of the shavar brachas? It's a different tircha, and you're going to have the t- but setting uh, different things of shavar brachas and all that, and the tircha of the, and you're going to be mevatel piravirivio. Says the Gemara, and for the Gemara, like Kasha, l'mandam rishum simcha, coin to mandam writes a problem of simcha ikir simcha chad it's not a problem of Marv and Simcha because the main Simcha is only one day. And that's for the first two people, the first two answers. The one that says that's too much of a Tircha, the main Tircha is only one the first day, of when you, the day you get married. According to that, you're not going to want to take a chance because let's say you set up to get married before Erev Yantif and then something happens, emergency, a catastrophe, Something happens, the caterer cancels, and then you can't get married on Erev Yantif. You're going to have to wait till after Yantif. person's not willing to do that. He's not going to wait. Uh, he's not going to hold himself up on, on, for, for, um, for, he's not going to hold himself up to get married on Erev Yantif, according to the Mandamar, uh, that you're going to lose that on Erev Yantif because people are going to want to hold out for the Suda. He's not going to do that because it's not worth taking a chance because then if he doesn't get married, he's going to have to wait a full another week. Thank you very much. See you later.